All right, hey, so uh, Mo here, Lee City Gaming. You already know what it is. We got another interview. This one's super special. Sherry Nan. No, 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 is that the correct way to say it? Nam. Nam. Sherry Nam. My apologies. So, uh, introduce yourself and uh, I guess just let the guys know a little bit about, about who you are. And, you know, okay, yeah. cool. Uh, again, my name is Sherry Nan, also known as Sherry Genix, and I play Street Fighter V, and I'm. That's the only game I play, actually. <laughs> and she plays Nikali. Yeah. Y'all know I'm, I'm about a, the Nikali. I'm the Nikali right? player. So, what's up? What's up? <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, I think I'm going to start with, with the tournament question first. So, like, for people who is their first EVO or their first big tournament, like, first major, yeah. uh, what do you recommend? Like, what are, what are like, like, one big do, one big don't that, you, that you've learned from your experiences playing these games? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, one thing that you shouldn't do is party it up before you have to play in pools. Like, you're going to get tempted by the That's gambling, cool. the drinks, and, like, all the pre-parties and all that, but... Like, if you're here to take the game seriously, just make sure you always get that rest before you have to play. And show up on time. Yeah. Obviously, right. show up on time where they're going to DQ you. And make sure you pick up, you try to pick up your badge before Friday, because pools start on Friday. So I pick mine up Thursday night. Um, one thing that you should do, I guess, is like, well, for the newcomers, like, if it's your first time there, you try to make it a comfortable experience so you don't get so nervous. So make sure you invite all your friends to come out. Make sure they cheer for you, because that helps with the nerves a lot, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Get that power up from the from the from the crew. From yeah. Awesome. That's what's up. Yeah. So that's a great advice. I actually haven't done a major myself yet, so I'm kind of like I have my trepidation to it <laughs> for sure. So I'm hoping next year to, to answer it myself. Um, so what was the other question I was gonna ask? So um, you said Street Fighter Five is the only game you play. Yeah. You do play Nikali. Um, so what what made you want to play Nikali? Like what, what brought you to that character? Uh, I don't remember what tournament it was. I think it was Evo when they released the trailer of him. And then when he activated B Trigger and I saw the animation and all, I said, that's the character that I'm playing. Right. And since then, I just haven't stopped playing it. That Super Saiyan, though. I mean, for me, it was. Like, I saw, yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. the hair. Yeah, going, Super Saiyan, like, Super Saiyan, yeah. And I was yeah. like, good. And it doesn't run out. even a B Trigger. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. In the call of V Trigger, for those of you who don't know, or from the Street Fighter Five, his V Trigger doesn't end. So once he gets V Trigger, that's it. He's in V Trigger for the rest. He gets better properties, better dash, better buttons, uh, combos you can you can do before. So for example, you don't have to charge your disc off of a uh, certain hit, stuff like that, right? Yeah, when well, you so, cancel it off normal. You cancel off, cancel off the of normals. It's pretty good. You don't play the Kali. I don't know. I'm just saying, guys. <laughs> just know. So, um, and then the, the last question I have was about the uh, the fighting game community. So, what drew you? Uh, to the fighting game community because I mean I personally have my reasons I love the fighting game community I'm curious to hear your feedback on, on, on why yeah I mean I didn't know anything about the community when I first started playing uh, when I first started playing it was just like my friend outside of the scene told me about like an all ladies street fighter tournament for street fighter 4 in 2009 and I was just like you know what let, let me check it out. Let me enter. Of course, I got bodied, but because I went to go practice every day at Arcade Infinity, I met the community. Arcade Infinity? Yeah. Yo, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's where I trained. Yeah, I came, I came up to Arcade Infinity, Super Arcade, like, yeah. grew up going to arcades like that. So, yeah. Like, and they're not around anymore, which sucks, but, like, it's so cool to see. Yeah. It's awesome. So, you know, then I started traveling on my own. Um, I went to my first out-of-state tournament at uh, Season of Beatings. That was in 2010, and since then, like... I like to talk a lot too, so I meet a lot of people yeah. along the way, and because I met so many people and I made so many friends, I just, it just made me fall in love with the community. Yeah, dude, that's what's up. I'm telling you guys, the FGC is so cool. You meet so many, so many friendly people. Don't get me wrong, the salt's real, the competition's real, of course. But I'm telling you, if you're looking for a community, you're looking for friendly people, people who will help you to get better. Don't think, oh, I can't play, I'm not good enough. Just, just come out. Just come do out. it. Just do it. <laughs> Sherry, it has been such an honor. Thank you so much for yeah, being no here. Thank you for your time. All. I appreciate it. Okay. Guys, we're going to be doing more interviews today and tomorrow. Evil 2017. You already know what it is. How about your boy, Lee? Right. Bye, guys.